Hello guys, what's up? It's the Michael here in 1997. I have been doing a few videos lately, sorry about that. Um, today I'm going to be doing a late review of what you see here, Transcendence, or Transcendence, which is um, the new Warner Brothers movie that came out on April 18th. And let me just say right now, big news, it's not horrible. It's not amazing, but it's not a piece of shit like everyone else saying it is. So all those scores you see in Rotten Tomatoes at 19 or 20 percent, don't listen to it, all right? But if you want my full opinion about this, just watch this video. Just listen, please. So Transcendence is a film from first-time director Wally Feister. If you do not know him, well, he was originally a director of cinematography. He was an Academy Award-winning cinematography. Now, please excuse the background noise. It's just my brother Danny Danger listening to Vine sets on his iPhone, which is really loud. It's, it's interrupting me. But let's go back to Wally Feister. If you do not know who, who this guy is, he's a director of cinematography, like I said before. He did a lot of Christopher Nolan's movies. Like, for example, The Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, Inception. Basically, almost every single one of his films. He hasn't done, I, mean, I don't think he did um, Memento or Insomnia. And he will not be doing the director of cinematography for Mr. Nolan's new movie, which is called Interstellar. And Mr. Christopher Nolan has produced this film for him. So that was a nice thing for Christopher Nolan to do. So, let's talk about the main film. Why is it getting so many bad, pra bad praise about this? I just think it's the execution. It had a great idea, but the execution is kind of like having a, a giving a kid an, an entire cake and him eating it all on the one night and he gets sick. And it just is not satisfying. That's how I feel about it. So, let's go into the story here. The story... It really has a lot of ambitious ideas here, so let's get into it. The story talks about a researching team, and it basically has Johnny Depp in it and Rebecca Hall, and it basically involves them doing artificial intelligence research about the idea of putting a mind into an AI, an artificial intelligence. And this thing has, like, it kind of has a realistic type of tone, because even though it's science fiction, People, there's things about people talking about doing it now. I mean, I'm surprised Steve Jobs hasn't done it, put himself into an iPad or something. But the idea of this person putting their mind into artificial intelligence, it's a realistic situation. It could be changing everything we know. Next thing you know, we might become, put our minds in artificial intelligence. But that's what this film kind of, like, explores, or tries to, like, expand the idea of. So... This involves Johnny Depp, who plays William Castor, who is basically trying to, like, trying to, like, do more research about the idea of putting your mind into a computer. And he, now, a lot of people call this the singularity effect. If you don't know what the singularity effect is, it's basically the moment when, hang on, just my notes, I have notes, is when a machine first became self-aware, you know, like a computer chess or stuff like that. But he calls it transcendence. Get it? It's the name of the title. I don't know why we call it Transcendence, but he called it Transcendence. So, what happens is he also has his wife, who was a part of the um, of the project, William Castro, who's played by Rebecca Hall. And he also has his friend, Max uh, Waters, who's played by Paul Bethany. And they're all, like, uh, supporting him with this project. And what happens is there's this extremist terrorist type of group who don't want this type of artificial intelligence to spread to the point where we have Skynet, basically. And basically, they basically try to kill Will by shooting him with a bullet that has radiation poisoning laced with the bullet. And the bullet's incurable. I'm not spoiling anything. This is in the trailer. The first trailer, they, they told you that this is going to happen to Will. So what happened is he only has a few weeks to live, and he basically, Evelyn doesn't want to lose her husband. So what she does, she decides to plant Will's mind into this base of artificial intelligence. And not spoil alert, he they succeed. Will William is in the AI, and he basically becomes self-aware. And he starts to evolve faster and faster and faster. Until the point when the terrorist group starts to, like, to like expand their reach and try to get more people to try to take down this AI. Because there's like, this terrorist group, they just don't want, like, they don't like the idea of artificial intelligence really controlling us and what's this cool thing i found which really surprising i don't know why i closed my book full of notes i think i have it somewhere oh yeah it's right here 
is that this revolves to like the evolution of Will as an artificial intelligence and his mission to save the world from itself. Kind of like you see where it's going here. Right? So basically, what Will does, he has this idea of making this type of power for humans. You may have seen in the trailer like a little snippet here and there, people running faster, or like, people's eyes changing colors and stuff like that, and machines like little, little nitpicking stuff like that. It basically has this type of regurgitation, like regurgitation type of idea to it. And it, the price for this is individual autonomy. In other words, the entire world, nature itself, and everyone on Earth has to give up to Will in order to get this type of power. Now, this is really a cool idea, and I really like that. And this film has a lot of questions it asks the audience, and some of these questions are not answerable. Meaning that it has to basically ask you. It asks you, what do you, what would you do if you were some artificial intelligence? And for me, I still haven't answered these questions because I'm still learning about this stuff. I'm a teenager. I'm learning more and all that. So, I see why the questions, in my opinion, they kind of really grasped me. And, and I really was pulled into it because this idea was so amazingly well done. I don't want to see to shut off. But however... That's when things start to go a little doom hickey or bleh. As the point is, there's no real clarity to the problem. Meaning is, it's kind of disjointed, especially with the sense of time. You think a project about someone planting their mind into an artificial intelligence computer, having the artificial intelligence span throughout the entire planet, you think it would take maybe about like, hmm, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 years? But no. It basically takes time throughout months and then ends at two years. This kind of makes the film feel like it wasn't really planned that at all. It was just like a short idea just like that and the script wasn't really expanded. Now I kind of understand people's ambitions about that. As much ideas as Transcendence has, it also has logical errors. I'm not going to go deep into it because it might spoil the film. I don't want to do that because this is a film I think you should check out. Now. The, the, see, even though it has problems, it's still an entertaining film overall, especially when it comes to performances. Johnny Depp and Rebecca Hall, in my opinion, are standout performances here. They really are at the top of the, like, they're at the top game here. And I really do love that. And they kind of have this, like, little of love, cam like, chemistry of a love story that plays out throughout the film, even though Johnny Depp's character, Will, is an artificial intelligence, like, around 80% of the film. And even though he's an artificial intelligence, I feel like he's better as an artificial intelligence than a human being, like playing a normal character. And that's surprising, as he, he kind of puts all his faith into it. I'm really sweaty and I'm thirsty, you know? So, back to the point of this, is it's still entertaining overall, and I really do love the performance scene. All the other actors, like Paul Bethany, Morgan Freeman, and um, Kate Mara, Cillian Murphy, they all did great jobs in their roles, but I felt like Johnny Depp and Rebecca Hall's performances really stood out as the best, in my opinion, overall. They did a good job, but I felt like when it came to Johnny Depp and Rebecca Hall communicating, when they were talking to each other and, and having conversations, I felt like that really, like, hit, like, the best parts of the film. And it was like, yeah, really good. I really loved that uh, idea overall. And visual effects wise, the film is, doesn't use too much visual effects. It uses like, like, like about 30% of the film has visual effects in it. So it's nice of that. But it, um, dialogue wise, the dialogue in this isn't really bad. There are some moments where I feel like, oh, it's going to be a little too ridiculous. Come on, don't say that. It's kind of like a little cliche. But I got over it real quickly because of the performances of that, like I said before. But however, when it comes to the end point, when the credits roll, I feel like the message of the film is really good, but the message changed, from my opinion. In my opinion, it began as a tale of technology and evolution, and what does it mean to really be human? It turns to a tale about condemnation of our individual ability to be free. I don't know if you can understand any of this. In other words, the beginning of the film, the f like, I would say the first act was really intriguing because it was a unique idea. But when they came to the third act, it was interesting as well. But some just something got lost in the way. Like the third act really kind of dropped the ball 
in a way of kind of not being as smart as the first two acts were. That's how I felt. If you feel any different, that's your that's your opinion, like I said. This is just my opinion. I wanted to share this with you guys. But however, even though the message can be muddled for some, for me, the message wasn't that muddled at all. It was actually intriguing. It was actually really well done. I just didn't like how they switched like the real meaning of the questions and the message that they put into the film for me to see. And there are some moments that I felt like, wow, that that's really happening? And like I said, there's questions that you won't be able to answer when you first see the film. Sometimes you might be thinking in your head, like, after an hour, would I still do that after what I saw? I don't know so, and I've seen the film on, on like, a few, uh, like, two weeks ago, and I still don't know what I think about it. You know, that's amazing that a film like this, that's getting a lot of hate on it, sometimes gives me the best questions to ask myself. And it kind of goes into what a man, Carl Sagan, said, which says that this world is driven by, but doesn't understand technology as well. Because we do not know what, we understand technology, we know how to turn on a computer, mess with an iPad, how to call somebody, but we don't understand the true nature of technology. See? Even though it's a low, like, it, a lot of people are hating on it, saying it's a horrible film, don't waste your money watching it, I'm just going to say right now, Take your chances with the product overall. Take your chances as an entire experience. So the critics who are hating on this, you can just like kind of forget it because they're just going to be bashing the film to the point where it's shoved into the ground and no one will ever hear about it ever again. However, for me, I felt like even though it's not amazing, it wasn't as high as I thought it would have been as expectations. I, thought, I had a feeling it was going to be like this level, but I kind of wanted more. And that's the problem, is the film was connected into a two-hour film. But I felt like this didn't even have to be a film in the first place. In my opinion, it could have been like a TV series expanded into two seasons or two parts. Part one, which involves into the point of the t like when Depp becomes into the machine. And then later on, the second, like, that, like it's kind of like how they do with The Walking Dead now. Eight seasons, like e eight episodes... Is like the beginning of like Deb and how he becomes the machine. And the last eight episodes can be what happens like in the rest of the film. Like his point when he makes his like company or makes his like big span of the world and kind of plays out and how it ends. They could have done that to flesh out the film. But I feel like they just made this film to be a film overall. Just a film. I felt like the writing, which was done by writer Jack Plagan, or Jack Palgan, whatever his name is, Jack Palgan, I think his name is, I felt like they just didn't really think of the long-term, like, choices that this film's consequences would have. And that being said, overall, I don't think it's horrible, I don't think it's a piece of crap, like, I wasn't saying it is, I just think that a real idea behind it is not fully explored. And in my opinion, overall, even though the film isn't amazing, it's done some good ideas, but an okay execution. That being said, I'm giving the film a 7 out of 10. It's really above average, but it's a decent film to watch. It may not be the film you must have seen on the first weekend, but it's definitely a film you should see over time. Because then you'll it's still a film I check out because it's unique. It's something you haven't seen before, really. I really mean it. Unless she doesn't want to space out to over and over again. But it's something you haven't seen before. It really has a smart question to ask. It has performances that I did not expect were going to be amazing. And it's just done well overall. That's my opinion. My problem with the film is the fact that the film is disjointed compared to time of timeline of how the machine spans how long it takes. It should have taken more than just two years. It should have taken five years or ten years max. Five is the minimum, seriously. So, overall, it's a seven out of ten. I don't hate it. I, I'm not in love with it. I just think it's satisfied. That's my point of view of Transcendence. And the story. Now, please like the video, comment below, subscribe. Also, I must just say, if you don't like my opinion, it's just my opinion. If you hate the film, hey, hey, look. If you hate the film, go hate it. But this is just how I think, what I think about the overall product itself. 
It's not horrible. It's not a piece of shit like people are telling me. Because I've seen it myself. And overall, just don't trash it unless you've actually seen it. That's my point of view on this product. I mean, this film. This two hour film. Overall, like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook as Michael Martinez or Mike, Mike O. Martinez. That's my name on Facebook. And Twitter is the Michael in nineteen eighty seven. I'm gonna be on there a lot, so if you're ever gonna con like send me a message saying "cool job, nice job on your videos, Michael" or anything like that, I really would like to comment and feedback on this video. Um, just like to say overall that I'm gonna be reviewing Spider Man Two, which I actually saw last night at um with my brothers, uh, Danny Danger and my little brother Kevin. Um, he's at the side right now. If he wants to come say hi, you can come say hi, Kev. This is my brother, Kevin. Hi. He saw Spider-Man with us. And, um, I'm just gonna be reviewing that later on. Possibly at the end of the week. Might be on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Don't care which day. I'm gonna be reviewing it there. And, as always, guys, if you guys ever watch my videos, which I hope you do, because I'll cry myself to sleep every night. No, but seriously, if you guys watch my videos, please just keep watching. It really will, it really does support me, and I don't really like do like all these high production values as other channels do. But I just hope you guys just watch my channel and just check it out. That's all I'm saying. So bye guys, like the video, comment below, subscribe. Bye.